Hey there, and welcome to Crochet Therapy. I'm Barbara, your host for this episode of Crochet Tutorial. And for this tutorial, I am going to show you the easiest and loveliest stitch. And we are going to make a washcloth with this. This is the pattern right here. And as you can see, it is a textured single crochet, double crochet pattern that is so easy and so pretty to make. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to know is that I am using a size four weight yarn. I'm currently using a size four weight Karen Simply Soft yarn and this color is gold. The recommended hook size for this is a size H. And so that is what I'm using. I'm using my Clover Amore size H hook 5.0 millimeters. The first thing you'll do is create a slip knot. Any way you do a slip knot will be fine. Now be aware that this pattern um, is a is a pattern that consists of threes. So if you are doing any size project, you will count by threes. There's no additional um, stitches added. It's just simply threes. So for the sake of making this washcloth, we are going to chain 33. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. Now, what we will do, we will work two double crochets in the third chain from the hook. So we don't count what's on our hook. One, two, three, and we'll do two double crochets in there. However, on this very first row, I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to go into the back hump. So we have one, two, three, and I am going to do two double crochets in that back hump. Once you get that first set done, it's easier. Okay. Two double crochets. And then we are going to skip two. And in the third chain, and remember we're going in the back hump, we are going to do one single crochet, one single crochet, and two double crochets in that same chain. So three stitches and a second double crochet. And we are going to repeat this pattern all the way down. Skip two, one, two, go into the third with a single crochet, and then two double crochets in that very same stitch. Okay, one, two, single crochet, two double crochets, okay, 
one, two, one single crochet in the third chain from the hook and two double crochets in that same stitch. Okay. Skip, skip, single crochet. Two double crochets in that same stitch. Okay, skip, skip, single crochet, and two double crochets in that same stitch. Now, every now and then, I take a look at my work just to make sure that I have done the two double crochets because let me tell you that is my biggest nemesis <laughs> with this pattern is I'll do one single crochet and one double crochet and then I'll move on and I have uh, just completely you know messed up my row I have to frog my work and go back and add that second double crochet. Now I've come up with a little hint, a little tip for how to make sure just at a glance that I have um, made two double crochets in each section. So if I turn my work this way, I can very easily see quickly two large, um, excuse me, V's where the double crochet stitches were. As you can see, the single crochet stitch is very small. So what I do is I say, oh, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two, there's two, and here's two. So I can just quickly at a glance, take a look and notice that yes I have made two double crochets in each stitch along with the single crochet. Can you tell I've done this enough times because I had to come up with a plan? <laughs> okay so we again skip one, two, go into the third with a single crochet and we are doing this all the way down to the end of our first row. This is actually called our foundation row. Okay, so skip one, two, go into the third, single crochet, and two double crochets. So this is our foundation row. And after this, we will do what we'll call our first official row. One, two, go into the third chain, single crochet, and two doubles. Okay. And then we should have three left. One, two, three. And we do. So we are going to single crochet in that last chain, single crochet, and turn our work. Now at this point, you'll see it's all bubbly and really pretty, and it's a little misshapen. And that's okay, because this is our foundation row. So our foundation row is obviously going to, um, you know, not be completely what we're what we're going to see once we get started. I hope you can see that, okay? All right. So we have gone to the end of the foundation row and we turned our work. The first thing we're going to do is chain one. At the end of each row, we chain one. And then in that very first stitch 
which is the single crochet stitch that we did on the previous row, we are going to put two double crochets in that very first stitch. And one more double crochet. All right, now here comes the fun. Are you ready? We skip these two double crochets and in this single crochet stitch, which is right here, right here, we are going to do one single crochet and in that same stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. One, two. Can I let you in on a little secret? From here on out, the only space that we will be working in is a single crochet space. We are completely skipping over every double crochet space that we make double crochet chain or work rather. So here's a double, here's a double, here's the single. And we can easily spot those singles because they're in the dip of the next section. How easy is that? So what we're going to do is one single crochet and two double crochets. Okay, skip the double crochets, go into the single crochet, one single crochet, two double crochets. Skip the double, double, Go into the single crochet, stitch with another single, and two doubles. And this is what we do all the way across each and every row from here on out. Okay, I'm gonna take you to the end. The next single crochet stitch, we're going to single crochet and two double crochets. And like I said, the hardest part for me is making sure that I do two double crochets in each single crochet stitch because I do the single crochet and then I do a double and I'm and I feel like, oh yeah, I've done two stitches, but I've only done two stitches. I haven't done two double crochet stitches. So, I did develop that little trick. 1 2 1 2 one, two, one, two, one, two. I can easily spot the double crochet stitches because they're nice and fat. And then the single crochet stitches are in the middle, nice and skinny. And so I can quickly look two, 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 two. Oh yeah, you're good, Barbara. Keep going. Okay, single crochet in that single crochet stitch and two doubles. Get some more yarn. There we go. Okay. There was one double and one more double. And single crochet. Two more doubles. One. Two single crochet in that single crochet space and two double crochets in the same space and look i'm almost at the end i'll show you what we do single crochet double crochet okay we're at the end so I always spin this forward, towards me rather, so that I can see the two V's because these two last V's like to curl over. And so I look and I say, okay, that's a double crochet and that's a double crochet. So I know I'm not going into that. I'm going to go into this single crochet or this chain 
one space that represented the single crochet. So I'm going to go into the chain one space as best I can. There we go. And I'm going to do one single crochet and turn my work. And that row is done. That row is done. Now, just like in the beginning of the last row, we are going to chain one. And in that first stitch right here, the single crochet from the previous row, we are going to do two double crochets. That chain one represents a single crochet. And we are going to follow this all the way across. single crochet in the single crochet stitch, double crochet two times in that same stitch, and just continue on with that pattern. Skip the double, skip, skip, single crochet, two double crochets in the same stitch, skip, skip, single crochet, two double crochets in that stitch, and we are going to continue with this until we have a perfect square. Or if you prefer um, an oblong, a rectangular washcloth, you can keep going until you are done. You can also turn this into a lovely scarf. You can just keep on going until you get to the end. This is such a beautiful stitch. I love it and I know that you are going to love it as well. Thank you for joining me and I hope you have a lovely day and stay safe, be kind, and get hooking. Bye everybody. Hey everyone, it's me again. I just wanted to show you the completed project. This is the washcloth and it is just so pretty. It's, it's very um, thick, um, it's substantial feeling and I made it the perfect square. I love the way this project makes the sides so straight and I love the way there's just a little bit of an edge to the top and the bottom it's just so pretty now I knew that I had made this perfectly square because I simply took it and folded it one corner to one corner and the corners lined up and that's how I knew that this was perfectly square. And I folded it um, about two rows ago and I could see that it just wasn't quite there. Um, so I just kept going until I got a nice perfect square. Um, these are, I believe, two. Um, so two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Because actually you go, you go diagonal and you can count all of the rows, but I think the cheat sheet is to do it this way. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, and maybe 23. Um, so that's how I did that. Um, anyway, I do love this washcloth and I can't wait. Like I said, it's substantial. There's no holes. Well, I mean, there's little tiny holes, but there's no big holes to gape. It will be just a gentle exfoliator in the, in the shower because it just has these nice little bumps. And, you know, I didn't use that much yarn. Um, here is the rest of the Karen Simply Soft. And as you can see, that's about all that I used. I feel like I could probably get three more out of this um, easy. So 
that's a nice little project. And um, anyway, I hope that you give it a try and have a great day.